everyone. I'd like to show you around the new Runit platform here. This is called Runit by Run Diffusion. And as you can see, uh, this is the home page. And from here, uh, you can see a lot that the site has to offer by just by scrolling down here. But instead of scrolling down, what we can also do is we can use these tabs on the left hand side here. So we're on the home tab now. Let's go ahead and click on library and that will load your library up. And from there, you can browse and manage your AI generated content and creative assets. This is going to include videos and images. You have the option to change the column structure if you'd like to, and also change the view format right over here. We can also go to what's called our Run It Boards. Now we have a full tutorial on Run It Boards, so I won't go into crazy detail, but Run It Boards are really nice because you can, in one workspace, you can add multiple tools. So, you know, on Run It Boards, as it says, are AI powered creative workflows all in one place. And this is where it would save all of your Run It Boards that you have for different things. And then we can go over here to our tools. These are pre made tools that uh, have specific functions. For example, we have a Juggernaut Pro tool that will pop you right into Juggernaut Pro. We have a SVG vector creation tool. We have background removal tool. So there's a lot of different tools here and multiple tools can be added to uh, a run it board or they can be used as a standalone. And let's go on, go on over here to check out apps. Now apps are a little bit even more specific than tools. For example, we, we have a birthday card maker uh, app here and I'll just go ahead and load this one up just to show you an example. You can put the, the name of the the name up here, the recipient, the color, what they, what they, uh, background color, their favorite things, and of course uh, a main character, and then it, it will create the image over here. I was playing with it earlier, that's why you'll see these ones here. Okay, so that's just an example of an existing app, and of course we have a models tab here too. Let's go ahead and click on this one. So in this area, it will keep all your Laura. I made some tutorials about it, so that's why you see these ones here. Um, and you can click add model here and from there you can upload a LoRa or you can train one right here on our platform that can be used on the platform. So it's a really that's a really great one. I recommend it and we have a full tutorial on that as well. So I won't go into deep details on it now, but just wanted to let you know it's there. Of course, there's this button here. This is the this is how you access the open source applications like automatic 11.11, Comfy UI, Koya, all that kind of fun stuff. You'll find that over there on this tab. So, uh, Audio Lab 2 is over there. Go check it out. Um, these ones in red here, they're coming soon, so those aren't quite there yet. Um, and we have here to manage your plan. So, for example, if you're starting out and you want to upgrade your plan, this is where you're going to do it. You can see my current plan is Creator Club uh, plus Run It Pro, um, but you can um, you'll start you off as a free plan, and then from there you can pick from Hobby, Creators Club, Run It Pro, etc. Okay, down here in the bottom left, it's going to show you how many tokens you have left to use before you need to buy more. And where it says personal here, you can click on that and that's how you can access your team account if you're on a team or stay on your personal account. Make sure to switch between them. They do, they do have different storage. So if you're on a team, you want to make sure you're on, you select that team account because it'll give you access to different tools and whatnot. So let's go ahead and go back to the front here. Click on home again. Up here in the top right here, um, if you get stuck along the way, because you know AI journeys sometimes uh, have a learning curve, and we've made that pretty simple here with the Runit platform, but just in case you still need that extra hand on how to do something, you want to click over here, and we're going to go scroll all the way down to the bottom first. You're going to click on Learn Run Diffusion, click Open, and that will bring you to our guides, tutorials, blogs, all that fun stuff to help you on your journey to get you going. And there's one. Um, uh, there's a lot of them for Run It already, so go check those out. And I'm adding more every day. Also, we've got uh, join our Discord here if you want to talk to the community or ask the community directly for some assistance or our kind of preferences or help or just kind of showcase off your art. That's a great place to do that. If uh, if you need some more technical support, um, you're having issues with things not loading, things are broken for whatever reason, um, click here. You can open a support ticket to get access to us and and ask us to give you an assistance. And also we have uh, we are offering a masterclass here, so go ahead and click on that if you'd like to learn more about AI. 
and of course our guides and tutorials. This link here is the same as the one down here, okay? So those are the options I have for you today, and that's a quick little overview of the Runit platform. If you have more questions, always feel free to reach out to me on the Discord. I check it out all the time and be happy to assist you. Have a great day, everyone.